All right. I don't know. I don't know. So. How's it going, world? Uh, don't look, don't look. Where we were last time, we were here real quick. Sorry, I think I need that actually. All right, let's see what this does. What is this? Oh, it's supposed to be a chat box. That can't be right. All right, so we're making an eight-page comic book, right? I guess we should start doing that instead of wasting our time just doodling. But here's the thing. So here's the guy. Is that showing up now? Yeah. This is the guy who is being a freaking dick to our superhero. Uh, he's kind of an L.A. dirtbag kind of type dude. And um, <clears throat> I'm pretty happy with that. So if you don't know, this is kind of based on Donald Trump's face. Uh, and I thought, hey, let's make him a little more douchebaggy. So let's give him a kind of weird faded top knot type hair thing and a beard and tight shirt and all that stuff. So that's what we're doing with that guy. Let's switch gears. And because this is going to be a different file, uh, we're going to save this. Hero, blah, 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 blah. Hero sketch. All right, let's do a hero workshop. That's better. Um. So, so right now I just kind of want to doodle, man. I just want to go through and have fun with um, these characters and uh, explore this idea. So the idea is that this character is um, kind of a um, TMZ writer. And he, um, a journalist, quote unquote, and he decides to run a piece on um, uh, this superhero, right? Man, that's gross. Um, so I was thinking of like a kind of archetypal Superman ish type dude. Maybe yeah, I don't want to use this stupid thing that I'm using. So it really messes my whole thing up because Kyle Webster designed a bunch of really good um, brushes for. Um, Photoshop and he did that and that's great but now all my what I thought were unique brushes are like obsolete <laughs> so he kind of like screwed me over because I paid some money for those and I, I can't tell if they're free now in Photoshop which is great for him I don't I'm not like pissed off about it but it's just like oh so now I'm going through my tool presets, but maybe I should go to just my brushes? Freaking hell. Um, oh yeah, there's like, did I, did I do this? I don't know, I don't know. All right. Whoa, that was interesting. 
Um, all right, we're on that shit because that was garbage. Garbage. Uh, hello, hello, get mixed up here. Got my channel. This might get a little weird. There we go. All right, so we're a box within a box. There we go. All right, so we're a box within Who's a box. Who's watching me right now? Yeah. It's empty in here. It's empty in here. All right. Let's go back to business here. So I'm going to mute myself because this is really unnecessary. All right, let's go back to business here. There we go. Sorry for the feedback there. All right. Um, that's like a good. Oh, look, it's somebody here. What's up, dude? What's up, man? What's up, brah? Uh, what should the name of this guy be? I don't know. I don't know what the superhero archetype guy is. I don't want to be, like, too on the nose about it. I kept thinking about the... Um, like, I really like the... Um, initially, I thought about... Like, construction workers always wear that, like... It's kind of like a three... Um... Three line business on construction shirts, and it's like in an orange or like a really bright, um, yellow. And I, yeah, reflector shirts, and uh, I kind of like the idea of like a hero who is like kind of from that background, maybe like. You know, I also felt like a superhero should be in construction, obviously. Um, hi, Viz. Hi, Viz. So, like, it seems like that might be a kind of cool design for to, like, start with with a hero. But I guess I should start with the face, maybe, first, too. Let's see. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm gonna scare away those views right now. Hey, there's two people in here. Fudge. <laughs> That's great. Alright, so if we're going for kind of a Superman archetype. I don't want to make him black. I don't know why. I hope uh, that's not weird for whatever reason. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of someone kind of cool. So this guy's got beef with our... Um, stupid idiot guy, the TMZ guy, and the TMZ guy is, uh, basically he's walking home, he's on the phone, he's talking to whoever, he's like, you know what, I'll write whatever I want about anybody because there's no real repercussions in this world, and I am, you know, perfectly cool with that, uh, and so we find out he gets home and basically he's confronted with our Superman archetype who's like, dude, I'm out here busting my ass for you and you're trying to 
like ruin my life. Like he writes like shitty, you know, buzz, buzzworthy kind of things, and it's it's like, dude, why are you like shitting on my world? I'm just trying to. I'm just trying to be like a good citizen and put my powers to good use and you're really not helping me out man it's not very cool so what's your beef and and they kind of come to a blow about this and um it's kind of generic doesn't it I'm sorry, I'm not very loose today. I'm like, I'm really just literally turning this on to start drawing, and I'm not doing a very good job. Sorry about that. Let's see if we can't loosen up. Let's see, like, some reference material here. Um, like, Delroy Lindo. I love, I love Delroy. Like, that'd be kind of an interesting vibe. I kind of like that idea. Like, a bit more weathered Delroy. Like, uh, come on, Delroy. What you, what you got here? What's a good Delroy face? There we go. I like that one. So we're kind of drawing Delroy Lindo. Sorry if that's going to be weird to completely jack his face, but I feel like it's all respect and all love, man. Yeah, like, we got to have some bags under the eyes because he's a little bit, like, maybe this guy's kind of, like, done a lot, you know? Sacrificed a lot to, to kind of, like, guarantee the safety of the city, you know, that he works in. Like, L.A.-ish type city. It's probably really, a, that's got to be like the worst superhero gig um, imaginable, man. Like you got, a bunch of dumbasses. Who are not giving you like good credit, you know what I mean? Like, <laughs> Sorry. It's gonna be a lot of that today here, folks. My apologies. I'm also not have a really bad angle on this, so I'm gonna back you up. Back you up. I'm trying to position myself a little bit better. Okay. Got that really like so Delroy. Um, I really wanted him. I think he would be a, a, a really great um, Would be a great like superhero. I 
No, I'm not going to leave it like this. This is just sketching now. Sorry, I'm not feeling this today. I really should have done better, but more warm up kind of stuff. Just go in like this, but c'est la vie. A little bit of a lag on this, I don't know why. It's also like, sorry, something like leaked into this bag that I have my tablet and pen in, and it's like, kind of like, was like oily almost, I guess. It was really unpleasant. Still that? Oh, two people, it's... No, I've not landed on a name yet. If you want to recommend something, go for it, bruh. I realize I just realized that two people are watching and one is me. <laughs> that was really that was a cute moment. That was a cute moment for me. Alright, so I want to make it kind of like Why am I having such a hard time with this dude? <sighs> I like drawing furrowed brows a little bit too much, and I want this guy to be nicer, so. Boring this probably is, but so 
Yeah, I kind of like that a little bit more. He's a little more... Um, fatherly. You know, I kind of want, like, like, Delroy to me is, like, the ideal father. Ooh, Foreman. The Foreman. That could work. That's pretty good. I like that, actually. growing on me as we go here. I gotta find, I'm sorry, I can't do smiling. God, you like, just, just give me like a normal face, bro. It's not the right. <laughs> um, Operator, I can't do operator. I made a trailer with the character called the operator on it, and that's a bad. He's a bad guy. Operators are bad, man. They're like they're evil beings, all of them. All of them. Okay, I'm kind of digging this guy's vibe a little more. He's got really kind eyes. Like I like his like. Leather dies or maybe some wear and tear over the years. And I don't know, this might be a bad idea, but I do like the idea of a superhero with an earring. You don't see that. I'm just realizing you never see superheroes with earrings. Am I wrong? I might be wrong, but... I don't think I am. That's too much. I like Foreman. That's a good that's a good call. Let's go with that. Hello. Thank you, random person on the internet. Real piece of work. Okay, so that looks kind of chunky. 
not very smooth. So let's kind of take him back a little bit. And I think I can do this. It's this crash is actually weird. No, not that. So, all right, we got Foreman. And if you're asking yourself, am I intentionally trying to ape in some level Cory Walker's artwork, uh, yes. Yes, the answer is yes. I want this to be better. For those of you watching who don't know who Cory Walker is, do yourself a favor right now and find out for yourself. Because the guy's a genius.
cannonball? Is that um I guess it kind of looks like him a little bit. Uh, where are we? Not a whole lot. Although that guy look, I mean, like that's pretty badass, right? Turret, that's right, turret. Those eyes are too big. -ish. Okay. I don't know if it's picking up that, that weird wall there, but just a heads up, there's some weird stuff going on with this, or it's definitely not happy with me. is way too small. I don't know.
it's kind of fucking nerdy. <laughs> kind of like Carl Winslow from Step by Step, or uh, Family Matters. A little more trim. Yeah, I'm not really feeling this guy. What am I missing? What's missing here? His eyes are too small. Actually, I kind of feel like we should be more youthful. This guy looks okay. Still there with me, Mr. Lin Say. Lin Say, is that how you say it? Huh. It's amazing how much I don't know how to draw ears. It's like what? You do what now? Okay, so Foreman. I don't know, I kind of like that. I think it's kind of fun. I mean, this is a pretty throwaway character, like, to be honest, you know? So, but, I don't know. It's kind of sticking with me. I like the idea that he did this guy. Oh. Okay. How do you feel about the hair? I mean, you know, ideally, when I started out with this concept, I mean, he evolved because you know, I just feel like that would be the most low maintenance lifestyle for him. So that's probably easiest if he's just bald.
و نه من So that's what I have. Let's stick with that, huh? I mean, I don't know. Luke Cage is bald. Chala's not bald. Blade is insane. Blade is a gentleman, your new blade haircut. Hell no. Does anybody think Blade is actually cool? I don't, I don't know. I mean, I don't think so. I don't think he's very cool. Sorry. Sorry, Wes. Symmetrical. Holy shit, people. I've given up. I've given up uh, any care right now. All right, Foreman, you're done face wise. Yeah, I mean, I kind of just like him, like, repping a high-vis. Kind of design. Foreman. Uh, not sold on it. Oh, a concealed ankle holster. Cape or no cape? All right. This concludes our broadcast day. Thanks to myself and Kay Lindsay for watching. I hope that you enjoyed this immensely. This concludes our broadcast day. <laughs>